Disneyland, a place that is the opposite of calmness and you know serenity, is a place of serenity for me. It Well, anyway, the, the Adventureland shops are very well done. They, they have a lot of unique merchandise there. Why couldn't they do that here at the Gag Factory? It seems like a good opportunity to have stuff that's very... What in the world? What is stuff that is very tune-oriented? Why not? Why? Why can't you do that? Like, I, they, they seem to... They can't make up their mind if they want to do that or not. Like, they don't know what to do with the Toontown gift shops. And that, my friends, is in large part you know, endemic of what is wrong with certain areas, like they don't know what to do. And in lieu of a good idea, they just rehash old ones or they recycle stuff. Tomorrowland, you know, they don't have a distinct idea what they want to do with Tomorrowland yet. And I, that's going to get fixed because they've, because they weren't sure if they wanted to do Marvel or Star Wars or whatever. And they've answered that with the Star Wars land. So I think Tomorrowland is going to start getting more identity uh, in the future once they, you know, get over this, the Star Wars land stuff or once they finish that, because they still have to have a place for Star Wars until it's complete. So what I think is happening with Toontown, I believe, I'm not sure if I said it clearly enough, but I don't think they know what they're doing with Toontown. I don't think they know what to do with Toontown in general, not just the shops. The shop is just a symptom of a bigger problem. Same thing with the, you know, the facades and the, the lack of upkeep. Why put a bunch of money into something if, you don't, if you're not convinced that that's your long-term plan? Why put a bunch of money to keep it, keep it fresh? Why put in a bunch of money to you know, put in new merchandise that's unique to Toontown if you're not sure what you're gonna do with it? Because remember, Toontown was on the block. Toontown was on the block for Star Wars Land. And the fact that it's getting a, a refresh now, it's getting a new coat of paint, it looks like, help solidify that point is that, yes, now that, they, now that we know that Toontown is staying, they can start putting money back into it because they know what they're doing. And now, hopefully, that means they might uh, cross your fingers, you know, uh, I don't know, make it better somehow. Make it better. Guys, I had plans to kick off our night here with a ride on uh, the Matterhorn. I've got a, a single rider ticket, but I just watched a cast member walk into the tunnel. So this is not good. This could be a, a no-go here. Everybody's waiting patiently. But I don't think there's, they're going in. See, he just came out. What, did he find a squirrel in there or something? I don't know. I think he got a squirrel out. Looks like we're going to roll. So I have been in this single rider queue for going on 40 minutes. They have been completely butchering the... They're not doing it right. I don't, there's a way to handle the single rider queue and they're going out of the way to not do it that way for some reason. And then... <laughs> and then the ride breaks out. I'm, three guests away from uh, my turn here. And I, I'm ready to take a hostage, I think. Cause I'm, this is now, I'm watching them do this over and over. Taking out and moving, switching out. I don't know what they're doing. I know they're doing something, but I don't know what they're doing. Oh, you know what they're doing? I think they're getting, they're cycling all these cars so they can get those guys that are, at, you know, that have come off the track, that finish their, that finish their runs, they're, they're moving them forward so they can uh, get out of their bobsleds. Okay, that makes sense. That's why they're doing that. So, I don't know. They, they had everybody get out of these cars, but they didn't get anybody to get out of those cars. So, I don't know if it's, it's a one-track only thing. It's funny, this, this, the people in this sled right here keep staring and, and clocking the, the cast members. They're like looking at them for guidance. Nobody's talking to the, to the folks in that sled. They're like, nobody said anything. Everybody else has gotten out, even the folks over on the other side. Everybody's out over here. This group right there, look at them. They're just like, hey guys, what about us? And now finally they're getting them out. I guess I have to get out of this queue. I don't, I don't know how though. I guess I can just walk over through. So I got out of the Matterhorn queue, being <laughs> almost ready to go, but it's broke. What are you going to do? So I had to go to Plan B. Plan B was the monorail, you guys. The monorail was running the whole time when I was in the queue for the Matterhorn, but it's, and now that's down as well, and they've got a little standby queue set up here. I have no idea, though, how long it's going to be before the Matterhorn. You know what? Don't they close it for, uh, for fireworks and stuff, too? So I wonder... Wait, what time is it? I know it's time to get ill, but it's also 6.45? No, that's too early to close the monorail for the fireworks. Who knows when I could ride the monorail again? You know, 
<laughs> as I'm trying to come up with plan three here. Uh, I, I Going back to my, you know, how I opened this particular segment, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing like five shows possibly of me just talking, it seems like, because, you know, all the things I want to do are down. Hi, how are you? What's up, guys? Yeah, so, you know, the things that I want to do are, are working out, and I... I and still, I'm trying to find positivity, and it's I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that, you know, like I said, when I started this segment, I, I'm here in spite of a lot of, you know, a lot of bad things going on in my life right now, because um, I want to get out of that part of it. Is it. I guess what I'm saying is, isn't it weird for a guy like me who has social anxiety, who I am uncomfortable in many cases in normal, like, just dealing with people on a regular basis. I mean, I'm, I'm friendly and everything, but I hardly ever know, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I, I, I guess I should say I, I uh, identify a lot with somebody like Sheldon from Big Bang Theory, put it that way. Um, anyway, so a guy like that, a guy like me, who has a social anxiety and who's having a really bad day, you can still find that Disneyland, a place that is the opposite of calmness and you know serenity, is a place of serenity for me. Isn't that, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make, is that you know, in spite of in spite of the social anxieties, in spite of the really bad days that I'm having, this is where I'm finding I'm finding peace at Disneyland. Like, does that make any sense at all? And I don't even know where I'm going right now. By the way, I'm going to another part of the park. <laughs> I'm just trying to find something to do. The uh, the Disney Force has pulled me over here to the Mark Twain. It's dark and you can't get on, but. I love seeing it lit up like this and just kind of admiring it. I would love to see that going around the river right now, even if there's nobody on it, even if there's, there's no show. I would just like to see that that boat head around the river and in its you know in its lit up splendor. That would be pretty amazing. I think I've decided, by the way, that I'm going to try to see if I can't get on uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean, it is, guys. We made it inside the queue. Hopefully get all the way in there <laughs> this time. No, usually you don't get this, that kind of problem with all pirates. That's all, this is a hard ride to break down. But you guys uh, you guys know we got a uh, Secrets in History out on this one, right? You guys check it out yet? What do you think? Did you like it? Um, I've actually got a little bit of, uh, I'm going to drop you something after we're done on this. It blows my mind a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it'll, if it'll affect you like it did me. I, I'm surprised I didn't include it in the video. Although it's not really a secret or history, it's just an interesting thing to We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Star Wars Land updates from the Knothole Gang, or maybe our Secrets and History videos. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign or by buying a Fresh Bake t-shirt. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake! It doesn't look anything at all. The front of the attraction doesn't look anything at all like it did when it opened. Okay.